Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to talk about a game called Transy. This game was made by a YouTuber called Big Fry, who I have not been following for a long time, but relatively, you know, good enough. Um, I actually don't even know when I subscribed to him, so I, I can't say how long I've been following for. <laughs> anyway, most of us with a brain know that making a game is hard, of course. Most of us also know that it doesn't take a lot of effort to simply take a bunch of freaking skins from a store and just put them into the game. Basically download assets, free or not free. It doesn't take a freaking genius to download assets from a store. I guess his community got mad at him and he went out to try and prove that if you put just a little bit of effort, a little bit of passion into what you're actually doing, you can create a game. And uh, we're going to see how good this game is. This is just a demo. It's nothing crazy. It's a demo. So let's just see how this goes. Okay. I myself am also of the same, the same mindset. Yes, it's hard to make a game. No, it's not hard to put assets into a game and just like change the color of them or something. Slow-mo is a freaking slow-mo. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's talk of attachments. Well, I can't talk about attachments on that gun. I like M4, why not? This is an M5, so let's just grab it. Uh, how do I put attachments on? There's the night vision. It's B, okay. So, barrel, suppressor, compensator. Let's try compensator. Flashlight. Grip, I don't know what any of this grips does, because there's no, like, stats to tell me. Let's just, I guess, use that. Carbine, rifle, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I just do carbine. Oh. Oh, okay, I, I see, I, I see. So it changes the barrel, carbine, rifle. Okay, okay, let's do, let's do carbine and see what happens. Okay, let's go to the firing range, I guess. And see what's up. There's a camera right here buttons okay okay oh, okay so it shows me shows me where I'm shooting at okay I like that I like that a lot oh I didn't mean to do that okay what if I just full auto okay the gun's a little weird maybe because it's, that's a, it's maybe because it's a carbine so the girl can be it's okay. I mean, it's not it's not crazy, but it's not it's not horrible. Like there's been worse freaking recoil, that's for sure. But you could probably get there if you actually try to re to try to control it. Uh, but I think it's because it's a carbine. What if I if I change it to rifle? I can control it a bit better. Yeah. But I think the style of game that they're going for is more like a, a tactical kind of shooter where you're supposed to be slow paced. Where you're supposed to be like slow paced and everything. So I mean, I'm not gonna complain about the recoil. I can see where they're going with it. I'm not gonna complain about that. If they're going for that kind of style where it's just like, hey, you're not supposed to be running and running and gunning, you're supposed to take your time and everything. So that I can understand. This is this a red dot? No, I don't. What kind of sight is that? It's a weird sight, bruh. What kind of sight is that? That's well, might as well not even use that site. Might as well not even use that because it's just. Okay. Move past that. Hey, this is this is the site right here. There we go. That's the site. I don't know what the heck that other one was. <laughs> that was that was an interesting site. That's for sure. The only one that's weird <laughs> is that one site, and we're gonna use it the entire time because that's how weird it is. It's so weird that I like it. <laughs> can I put attachments on this gun? I can. I can put attachments on this gun. Suppressor. And a red dot. All right, cool. Cool. Okay. Okay. Flashlight. Let's. Uh, that's attachments. That's a knife. Okay. Okay. And then this is pressing C. Does the aim and not aim thing. Okay. Okay, and then I got slow-mo too. 
Okay. This is going to be like that one game I played. But I forget what game that is. If I can figure it out, I'll let you know. I'm not sure what game it is. I don't know. I hit the wrong button. I might die right here. <laughs> I, might, I might die off the bat already. Oh, okay. You can control the recoil, no problem in slow-mo. <laughs> Control the reek girl, no problem in slow mo. Okay. They got one of our guys. Hey, we don't got nothing here, sir, okay? I like the slow mo. Okay. Someone's talking somewhere, I don't know where. Oh. Objective completed. You may exit. The running, I think the running is fine. The walking needs to be increased for sure. And because the walking should be increased, the crouching should also be increased a little bit too. Uh, or maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. The crouching might be fine, but the walking definitely needs to be sped up a little bit. 100%. I can tell you that right now. Bullet is going where that cross air is, but I can't see past the cross air. That's freaking weird, bro. But okay. So if I tap the gun too fast, bullets go way the hell up here. I've held a gun before. I've held multiple, but I never shot a gun. So I can't say I, I have no input on in how guns work realistically. Okay. So if like, if, if you shoot a pistol and the pistol goes up that high and it's supposed to do that, then it's I'm supposed to do that. I find it fucking weird that a gun does that, but. Somebody wants to explain how it could do that. I'm open to it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm an AK person. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to use an AK. Ah, like AKs. You, there's flashbangs. How do I use a flashbang? That's not how you use a flashbang. This is a shot to myself. Ooh, that's... I like that. Ooh, do I have another one? No, I don't. Wait. I do have another one. And it just throws it on the floor. I like that. You know how many games don't do that? A lot. <laughs> Yeet. I like that. I don't know. That's just satisfaction to me. I don't know what it is. I would like two styles of reload if possible. Okay. In Advanced Warfare. I think it was Advanced Warfare. It was Advanced Warfare. In Advanced Warfare. And I know I'm... I, listen, I don't want this to be like a Call of Duty game. Okay. We're going for realistic, immersive experience. I understand that. But the reloading in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I liked it personally, okay? So you had like, if you hit the reload button once, you had your standard reload where it would keep the mag. If you double tapped the reload button, it would just spit out the mag and just put a fast, it's like a fast reload. Just spit out the mag and put another one in there. I'm going to add something to this part right here. Reloading animation part. If you know that you're pretty much close to the end of the mission, you could have it so that you can just double tap R to just get the mag out of there and then reload it quickly. And if you're not close to finishing the mission, you might want to have, you might want to keep the magazine. Okay. So you can incorporate that in that way. So if you want to reload your ammo and you're like halfway through the mission, you might want to keep your mag so you can actually reload your magazines, right? If you know that you're about to finish and you're pretty close to the end of the mission, you might want to just discard the mags and get a quick reload in there. So that is one way I think they could incorporate this into the game. If they even have ammo boxes around the map. Okay. I would assume so, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but I would like to see this implemented in some way at some point. It would, I think it'd be pretty cool. I'm also wondering how, how am I going to, how am I going to see the stats? Like what do, what do these do? Like, I know what suppressors do, but like, how much recoil am I controlling by using this over a suppressor? You know what I mean? I can't hit this anymore. Something happened and now I can't hit, hit this. I don't know what happened, but I can't, I can't select it. I can select all these other ones. No problem. But something happened to where I can't, I can't hit this now. Oh, okay. So this turns it on. This turns it off. Okay. So it's like immersive and then this, um, I think I'd rather have, instead of like the individual bullets on the screen, I think personally, I would rather know how much ammo is in the mag. 
but uh that's just me and it's not like I, I don't really care like i'll get i'll get used to the whole freaking bullets on the screen i probably won't even play with a hud to be honest that's not even gonna matter to me most likely i do want to say though that in the settings in controls wait a minute this is key bindings what happened okay in the settings in the gameplay i would rather have a slider over having to click like i know you can hold it and turn it down like that but i'd rather just have a slider Shit. i didn't know i didn't even know it went that high i'd rather just have a slider and just set it manually <laughs> you mad you mad dum dum <laughs> you big mad huh you big mad sir you big mad are you big mad sir drag oh look at this oh there you go dum dum come on over here with me oh god dang it they are if they're gonna have this feature i would really like it to, to work correctly see i can't i have to like slowly do it i don't like that this needs to be worked on too look at that i can't i can't have any fun because i gotta very slowly lift the body up god dang it yeah they gotta work on that that needs some adjustments like if i'm still holding the f key i should just have the body until i let go of it so if i want to fling the body around and do some weird stuff with it as long as i'm holding the f key i should be allowed to do that but once i let go it just dropped the body like it could be immersive breaking but at the same time it's funny as hell i don't even care immersive stuff is not really my thing i just want the game to be good if the game is good i will just naturally become immersed into it but if the game's bad uh, and you're forcing me to immerse myself into the world. It's not going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, the game has to be good for me to even consider immerse, immersing myself into it. I don't even do immersive stuff. I'm going to be honest. I don't even care. I, don't play, I just want to play a good game. Better than a Call of Duty demo, that's for damn sure. <laughs> My overall thoughts on just the demo so far is pretty good. I'm, I don't know if it's going to be a multiplayer game. I don't think it is, but I would like to see it be a multiplayer game. I think it'd be pretty cool, to be honest. But if they want to release it as single player first, that's fine. Want to release it as single player and then tag on multiplayer after that's 100 percent okay with me because like you're working on the core of the game and then multiplayer is going to come second it, like i said that's it means that when the multiplayer actually comes out it might actually work <laughs> is what that means rather than these other games that just rush the crap out of all that shit nads these days and it's freaking annoying anyway yeah, uh, so I'm going to leave a list on the screen of what I talked about. And I mean, other than that, pretty solid. Like for a guy that uh, I'm assuming didn't go to school to develop a game. I'm assuming. Uh, pretty good. Definitely better than most indie games, though. That's for damn sure. The ones that just freaking slap a bunch of crap together and just be like, here you go. I'm a game developer. So annoying. Okay, so no matter where I shoot the bullet... It'll always crack this. But I mean, putting that in there, already good. So I'm not going to rate a game based off of the demo. That I, I, Anyone that rates a game off of a demo is, I think, stupid. It's just, just dumb. Like, you can't rate a game until you fully get your hands on the full completed game. And uh, I can't wait to play the full game, for sure. I would like to actually try it and see what happens. Anyone can put assets into any game and figure it out themselves. Doing that kind of stuff is not game developing, okay? building an entire game from the ground up and doing it like this this is this is what game developers should be doing so as much as people want a freaking simp for game developers listen we can support games from small developers that put little to no effort into the game it's clear that they don't have passion for the game they just want to put something out there to call themselves a game developer so i'm going to end the video here uh, i'm going to keep an eye on this game for sure because it's looking, like I said, pretty solid. And I just want to play a fun game, you know? I, I'm kind of sick and tired of these AAA developers that just pump out garbage. And it's like, here you go, here's some garbage. Oh, thanks. Thank you, man. With the little indie companies that just half-ass the game. Ridiculous. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Transcendence looking pretty good. I'll see you guys in the next video. Probably from Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Probably, most likely. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye-bye.